All right, good morning, everybody, and um, welcome to the 2017 Business Summit. For those that don't know me, I'm Helen Thompson, and for those that do, welcome. Welcome again for many of you that are returning. And that's one of the things I want to, to discuss. I mean, why are we here? What is the purpose of the Business Summit? It was really summed up to me with a conversation I had outside with uh, one of my former colleagues who talked about in 2003, we had a gathering at user conference for the first time of people involved in business. And there were 13 people at that meeting. 13 people, two from the same company. And I know that one of the people at that meeting and that company is in the audience today. So we've gone from 13 to more than 400 people who are going to be involved in the Business Summit over the next three days. That's an incredible testament to what's happening in the commercial industries, what you are doing, and the change and transformation that's going on in our industry and in our sector. But ultimately, we're here to do something together. What we want to do today is empower you to embrace the opportunity for growth and innovation that comes with digital transformation. Everything we're going to talk about today is built on that principle. It's built on the principle of the fact that we need to act, not just to analyze. We need to gain insights, not just information and that we actually need to take this on as a mission. Because digital transformation is not about technology. Digital transformation is about people. People embracing change. People being willing to listen to new ideas, to challenge their existing paradigms and the status quo. And we are a community of people. Of the 400 people registered, one third are coming to the Business Summit for the first time. One third haven't been here for the last two years, and one third are new. So one of the traditions we have is to actually share your knowledge and your experience with each other through the networking breaks, through the expo, over the SIGs that we have on Tuesday, all the way through the next three days. But one of the things I really want you to do is take the next two minutes to stand up, find somebody you don't know, and introduce yourself to them, and share what you do, what you want to get out of the Business Summit, and how you can form long-lasting relationships which are productive and can take you way beyond these next three days. So if you'd all do that, I'd really appreciate it. Isn't this an amazing thing? From up here on the stage, I can hear the buzz. I can hear the camaraderie, the community. I can hear this opportunity for making new friends, for making relationships and partnerships that are going to last for years. And this is really what the Business Summit is about. It's not an event that just exists in isolation. So I'm really excited to announce that we're going to take the Business Summit online. The Business, on, Business Summit online experience is going to be a monthly webinar starting in about September, um, late August. We're figuring it out at the moment based on um, holidays in Europe and um, Southern Hemisphere. And we're going to get one of the speakers from the Business Summit this year to basically take a longer, hour-long presentation for you. And we're going to invite other guests to participate in that. So I'm really excited that all of the things you've asked for in terms of more in depth, the opportunity to, to talk more, the, the opportunity to really start to build that online community, that we're providing that platform and we'll keep going with it. And this is important because the whole world is increasingly instrumented. I read an article in Inc. on Friday that by 2050, the prediction is that every vehicle in the UK will be driverless. 2050, that's as far away from now as I've been in business, so that tells you how old I am. <laughs> but that sort of transformational sense wouldn't have existed when I first started 
in business, that it would fundamentally change the way we commute, the way we deliver goods, the way we think about things like transportation and taxes and personal um, mobility. And what is happening through digital transformation is we're cha challenging the existing paradigms and business models. Our industries are changing because of digitization of business processes. And many of those business processes are being leaped over in the traditional standards. So Uber and Amazon and Airbnb are successful not because they chose to do what people have done in the past, but because they choose to do something different. It's an active choice. And what I'd like every one of you to do at the end of today is to spend some time reflecting on what active choice you can make as part of digital transformation to change your business. Because I can promise you if you don't, your competitors that do will succeed ahead of you. And many of the stories and the speakers we're going to talk, you're going to see today, have made that choice. They could have stayed doing what they did, but they have done something different. And many of you who are prospects and new to Esri are on the first steps of that pathway to new and exciting opportunities. Because ultimately, this is about connecting ecosystems. You hear from 30 different industries. You speak over 50 different languages. You're a truly global collection of people which are doing amazing, inspiring things. This is the fuel that energizes me for the whole year. And it's about people and place and purpose. And increasingly, what's happening is time and space are being shrunk. So we'll see presentations um, in the first session from Crossrail in London, a multi-billion dollar investment in making it easier to get into London and transform London by getting across it in different ways. And that's fueling real estate innovation and a whole range of different things. We'll look at things like the GPS data and telematics information and how that transforms businesses. But one of the challenges we have is that many of these industries, people are not embracing digital transformation. Only 20% of insurers are using the data that comes off telematics. And we who understand geography and spatial analytics need to drive change in these organizations. We need to be willing to share our stories and do more. And the Business Summit and Business Summit Online is an opportunity to do that. Because we can change futures. Working with government, we can change the way that we, our cities look and exist, the way we move around there. We can conserve resources. We can change our life work balances. We can do things in completely new ways, empowered by digital transformation and the spatial application of digital transformation. And those possibilities are endless. At the plenary tomorrow, you'll see our technology advances. But more importantly, today and tomorrow, you'll see the, the transformation which is going on in society and business because ultimately, all business will be predictive. Algorithms, machine learning, artificial intelligence, big data, all these streams will come together in a way which will reshape the expectations of executives and analysts and line of business managers and those that operate our business. It will change the expectations of consumer and the way we approach omni-channel or unified retail, as it's now called. It will change where we build homes, where we build shops, how we distribute goods. It will change the way we interact with traffic lights, and in the future, traffic lights will no longer be important. And we'll be able to transform the way that we park our cars in garages, in, in cities, and those, those spaces can be used for parks and for other things that we need in society. And we won't need urban sprawl, and we can redesign our cities. And I'm excited that these macro big ideas are being shared by our speakers today. These are not future things, these are realities. Realities of changing the supply and demand expectations, minimizing business risks through success, taking failure and converting that into success and opportunity, 
innovating around information and analytics, and improving the operational performance. So one of the things I want you to understand is there are no tomorrows. The only thing that exists is now and today. So the opportunity for change, the opportunity to embrace digital transformation, truly begins today. We're a community of people that can collaborate and work together, share ideas, network, share successes, mitigate risks, look at the possibilities of failure. We can come together to shape industry strategy as, as is increasingly happening. We can take ideas and deliver them to our executives and uh, the people that execute on the front line and do something differently. And ultimately, we'll deliver better value, more efficiency, benefit to all of our shareholders and society in itself. The impact that we can make through the understanding and embracing digital transformation is truly unlimited. And I genuinely believe in my heart of hearts that every one of our speakers today not just understands that, but they themselves have embraced it.